Hi guys, this is Prashant Shukla aka Gastro Guru and today I'm going to make seared scallop. So here we go. This is a dish which tastes awesome and people think that you have to go to a gourmet five star restaurant to make it but I'm going to show you how we can easily make it at home and save $30, $40 on that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to season them with salt. and crushed black pepper. And I'm going to turn them because I want to coat both sides. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is add about two tablespoons of olive oil and I've already heated the pan so I'm going to swirl the oil to nicely coat the pan and then once the oil is fairly hot I'm going to put the scallops in I'm going to sear them and then we are going to you know, cook them in garlic and butter and herbs So now, pan is hot, and I'm going to place the three scallops, and it's going to be on the larger side at the bottom, because we only want to seal it from one side. And for the next couple of minutes, you're not going to touch them. The worst thing you can do is plate, keep on clipping them to check if the seal is there or not. Uh, soon you will see that the bottom is going to start to brown and sear. And we are not going to flip it again. We are just going to keep it cooking it like that for a few minutes. And as you can see, I put salt and pepper. I seasoned that with salt and pepper. And I put the larger side at the bottom. So you have the top and then you have the bottom. So the larger side is the one that we are searing in hot oil. So that's going to be your seared side. Then you plate it. So we're going to give it a couple more minutes. And you want to be careful that you don't overcook these because then they're going to taste chewy and rubbery. Now while that is happening, I'm going to put some oil. I'm going to keep on putting oil in top. On the top side. So I don't want to sear it. But I still want to cook them, and so I'm using this hot oil. To cook the top, like bathing it in hot oil, because I only want to sear on one side. So now I'm going to take the sear and if they are seared nicely, I'm going to take them off the pan and flip them and look at that. Look at that sear. How awesome it looks. So I'm going to take it off and leave these on the side for a minute. And then to the pan with all the, the crust and the crumb from the sear of the scallops. I'm going to build a little sauce. So you have here about two tablespoons of butter. Then you're going to let that melt. And this is one dish 
you cannot skimp on butter or say I'm going to cook it olive oil because it's not going to taste good. So we wait for the butter to melt and what it's going to do is it's going to kind of deglaze the pan. into this melted butter and uh, you know, the crust and the, from the sear of the scallops. I'm going to lift it from the pan and I'm going to add just a little bit of white wine. I mean, after all, this is gourmet cooking. So you have the butter, and you have the white wine, the garlic, and we're going to wait for some of the alcohol to evaporate and for this nice rich buttery sauce to thicken. And now to that I'm going to add about a teaspoon of lime juice and we're going to mix it up and wait for the wine to reduce it's going to be a reduction of the white wine so that we don't taste the alcoholic taste of the wine just the sweetness of it and then you have the lemon juice to give it the nice party taste. And then the butter. Now to this we're going to add two cloves of chopped garlic. The garlic is now brown nicely and so to that you're going to add back the seared scallops. And as you can see I have put the seared side up and not the, at the bottom because I don't want that nice seared crispy crust to become soggy. Now, to this, I'm going to add some freshly chopped parsley. So we're going to mix this up. And I'm just coating the top, <coughs> excuse me, with the buttery sauce with the wine and garlic in it. And then I have a surprise for you. To this, I'm going to add lobster tail, which I cooked in boiling water, boiling salt water, for about seven minutes. And I have it into it, you can see. And then I'm going to put that skin side down. And then I'm going to add some of the buttery goodness to the lobster. Now remember, remember, a scallop, they have already been cooked when we cook them in oil and sear it. And we are just finishing them off in the sauce, in the butter lemon wine sauce, along with pre-cooked lobster tail, which I cook by boiling it in seven minutes of salty water. Yeah, one. 
and make sure that both sides of the lobster tail are nicely coated with our sauce and also the freshness of the chopped parsley is going to add to its flavor, enhance it. So that's it folks. The seared scallops are done, so is the lobster, so now we're going to plate it. And then I'm going to pour this awesome gravy, the sauce, on top of it. And then finally, I'm going to garnish it with the remaining chopped parsley. So, folks. There you have it, seared scallops with lobster tail cooked in a butter, oil, olive oil, lemony sauce and garnished with salt, pepper and chopped parsley. So bon appetit, uh, please view my video on the YouTube channel Gastro Guru and like the video and if you haven't subscribed to it, please do and bon appetit.